Smallpox had been a disease that had affected humanity for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It was one of the most feared diseases of its time. It was known as a killer and a mutilator. And it was something that there was no cure for. I'm Owen Gower and I'm the museum manager here at Dr Jenner's House Museum and Garden. Well, Edward Jenner was born here in Berkeley, Gloucestershire in uh, 1749. He was apprenticed to a local apothecary surgeon and learned all of the different uh, skills that he would have needed to, to practice as a country doctor but then went to London to train under the uh, extraordinary surgeon, John Hunter, the pioneer of experimental medicine. And the two of them collaborated on all sorts of different experiments. And so Hunter was, I think, distraught when Jenna decided to come back here to Berkeley, to his hometown, to, to set up as a country doctor. And in the late 1700s, 1796, Jenna performed perhaps one of the most important experiments in the history of medicine. Having observed that local milkmaids invariably had very fair complexions having not contracted smallpox because they had also contracted a disease called cowpox, Jenna hypothesized that those who, people who had contracted cowpox would never contract smallpox. But he needed to test it. He needed to try an experiment and so on the 14th of May, 1796, Jenna took the eight-year-old son of his gardener, a boy who had never had smallpox or cowpox, a boy called James Phipps, and he deliberately infected him with cowpox. The cowpox is a really mild disease, and so James just had a bit of a fever, a bit of a temperature, uh, but he soon recovered. And then Jenna had to try and test to see whether he would be immune from smallpox. And so Jenna attempted to deliberately infect James with smallpox. And the experiment worked. James did not contract smallpox. Jenna had shown that cowpox made James Phipps immune from smallpox. And so he then went and tested it again, both on James Phipps and on other people. He continued to vaccinate people. We do know that before Jenna started vaccinating, smallpox outbreaks were quite common in Berkeley and they were recorded in the church registers. And we don't see any records of smallpox outbreaks in the church registers after Jenna. It was something that caused so much misery and so much pain. And Jenna had seen that. Jenna had seen outbreaks of smallpox in Berkeley and he wanted to try and make a difference. And so by stopping people from getting smallpox and then eventually by eradicating smallpox, ridding the world of this horrific disease, Jenna showed that, that we can overcome even the most feared of diseases. And now we see vaccination inspired by Edward Jenner continuing that, that legacy of protecting people against disease. Vaccination saves between two and three million lives each and every year. It's, it's one of the greatest medical discoveries of all time.